there you are. Let us take King Rodri to a spot he will find breathtaking. All right, let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Eivor, do not forget that load of rotten flesh called Rodri. Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouting. A view, one fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die with honor. No, no, no. He must die with style. Dear King, stay with us. You must not miss what is coming. <laughs> I killed King Ella, King Osbard, King Edmund, and now King Rodri. Who else can claim such a string of victories? It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Valhalla must look such a sight. Does he breathe still? Barely. Rodri, are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak. But as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease. Here we are. Bring him close. Over here! up there to the top and keep him breathing finish this quickly Ivar. see here a hungry blade now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal the blood eagle Ivar, is this...? The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He is doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. Ah. 
The fog between good and evil grows thick over time. But glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out, Cosmos! And spread them like wind. All of Mercia can see him now. I have seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell. You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. And nothing. You sick, cursed fuck out! Things a man must do, the trials one must face, the friends one must betray, to achieve one's destiny and become king killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss, to a glorious death! This is a life, Eivor! Fight high above the wall! Valhalla, away you Picked up our trail. Hold on. You were too reckless, Eivor! A storm of mindless chaos! Come down, Eivor! I have only begun to enjoy this! So close to death! So full of my heart! Where are the winged maidens? Then, or I take your tongue. Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolf Kissed? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? Go again! Picked up our trail. Hold on. approach my axe Eivor hand me my weapon Odin may have use for you but this is more than you deserve uh, do not shame him I hear... I hear their wings.
Carry the body to Quadford. We'll say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Uber. Tell him his brother is dead. Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Uber. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace, I killed him. You? After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rotary. ...to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... ...this is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died a fighter... ...in all his glory. As he wanted then. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. You will. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. 
But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharad. Say that her husband died by treachery, and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Cheolwulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I'm grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. One sails into a singing glory on the flaming water steeds. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar gone. Shirapshire, an ally. I should confer with Randvi. them about my next targets. We are allied with Shirapshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chelbet will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was.
I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north, from your old friend, Billy. Billy? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Billy asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. Ah, good. I hope this one did not give you too much trouble. As a token of my gratitude, I want you to have this. Keep this up and the land will be free of these monsters. I have to go. Then go in peace. like to see what you have in stock. Done for now. I must take my leave. So long. Put that gear to good use out there.
picked up our trail. Hold on. This must be snotting out. Saxon and Dane live in peace. I expected nothing less than the damning the yard's rule. Traveler, what seek you? Perhaps I can help. Well worth a little silver, I assure you. All right. Look here. The spot I'll mark on your map. A place I know. Come, raise a cup. Make sure the supplies are secure. We may set off at any moment. <laughs> Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigvi, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Billy? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Billy's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Hemingr Jarl looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Billy and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Billy's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Hemming a Jarl is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. Traveled far, spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. When Billy and I were small children, you spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. 
But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve Hemingway Yarl. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. Scott had sent us a Picked up our trail. Hold on. Picks ashore! Protect the convoy! Ready! But they want you! Picked up our trail. Hold on. Fire! Fire! Ready! Bows! Fire! 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 Bows! Ready, Bose! Fire! Bose! Fire! Fire! Picked on the rich! Got the convoy! Picked up our trail. Hold on. Ready! Fire! Fire! <laughs> Ready, bows! Fire! 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 Ready, bows! Fire! Ready! Fire! Fire! Bows! Fire! Bows! Sail! Catch the wind! Ready, bows! Fire! 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 Ready! The convoy remains, Wolfkiss! Fire! Oars! Back us around! The convoy, the convoy is laid bare! Heminger Yarn will be pleased! Picked up our trail. Stop. Hold on. Come on. Ready! Fire! Fire! <laughs> Fire! Fire! More <Stop>. sail! <laughs> Let the sail Thank out! Drop the you. sail! Boats! Fire! 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 Ready, bow! Fire! Fire! Careful, Eivor. These supplies bring fire to the Ulkathor siege.
can continue later. Picked up our trail. Hold on. I have orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Vili and Hemminger Jarl will be pleased to see you. My sheepskin. That there is Eivor the wolf kissed. Eivor! Hail! We have not laid eyes on you for some ten winters now. Hail, the friend. Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Heminga Jarl. One of the happier messages I've had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifor. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It's good to see you again. Hey, uh, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stonebird. Should any picked escape. It will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Billy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorpe. 
Trick V and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my callous hands? You can have your glory, Billy. I'm here to support you and your father. Such humility. Where is the Eivor I once knew? Old times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons. Bring victory today. For tomorrow, we feast! Light the arrows! May they burn with flame unbridled! The pig chief hides behind his bed like a cow. No doubt he will be well fortified. Look for him on high ground. I will have his head in the way Take up our trail. Hold on. Of our trail. Hold on. your father's mead. Now, to signal our victory!
You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The heart in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> and they love my son all the more. But he lacks the trust of our Danes. And I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son. He thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Billy who summoned me, or you, Emiya? I thought you would come faster if it was Billy's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it, of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Both men are honorable, but they do not hold a bearded axe to hemming a yawl. Let us not burden ourselves with the all-thing choice yet. Your sight is clear and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him, and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. <laughs> <laughs>